Welcome to Morning Man with Pastor Steve Myrie. This morning's topic, The Struggle Within. But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. 1 Corinthians 9, verse 27. The very best of us camouflage the very worst in us with religious colonialism that reduces Christianity to more of an act than an attitude. Even the most pious of us, while in our own quiet booth of confession, kneeling in solitude at the edge of our beds, must murmur our daily confession before God, saying, We have earnestly pursued a place in you that we have not yet attained. Our struggle continues to feed the ravenous appetite of our holy guest, whose divine hunger requires us to perpetually feed him a sacrificial life. He daily consumes and continually requires that which we alone know that God wants from us. Paul battled to bring into submission the hidden things in his thoughts of vain imagination, the hidden things in his life that could bring destruction. Perhaps there were perturbed thoughts of vain imagination or pride. But whatever they were, he declared war on them if they resist the change. He says in essence that as he waits for the change, he keeps his body in chains, beating back the forces of evil. This is the struggle of the same man who wrote a majority of the New Testament. With a testimony like this, <laughs> I pay very little attention to those among us who feel obligated to impress us with the ludicrous idea that they have already attained what is meant to be a lifelong pursuit. The renewal of the old man is a daily exercise of the heart. It progressively strengthens the character day by day, not overnight. There are some wonderful gospel songs that we would sing. There's one that says, I looked at my hands, and my hands look new. I looked at my feet, and they do too. Those are wonderful lyrics, but they are completely erroneous. They sounded exciting, but they were tragically misleading. If you want to know the truth, if you had a corn on the bottom of your foot before you got saved, and you were to take off your shoes and check it after you got saved, guess what? It will still be right there, hanging on. So this is... A daily struggle. The quote of the day. The renewal of the old man is a daily exercise of the heart. Now go today and be not concerned about those among you who cause you to feel as if they are holier and more righteous than you. Just be content with the fact that you are a working progress. God is not through with you yet.